think uh, the IVF procedure is a, uh, I think it's a easy procedure. Okay, we can do everything as normal. If uh, if you want to do is uh, you just come here to see me uh, on the second day of your menstruation. Okay, and uh, every process uh, I think is finished uh, around twenty eight day, and you can know you have a baby or not have a baby later. Okay, so. Uh, I have to. Uh, I I would like to divide uh, uh, the step of the IVF procedure for three steps, for the uh, easy to understand. The first step is uh, just like a control ovarian hyperstimulation. That means we have to stimulate your egg, okay, more than normal, okay. You have to receive the injection every day, allow ten days, and then we uh, follow up every four to five days after you receive the medication. For example, you come to see me on the second day of the menstruation, okay, we test, we test your blood for the hormone or everything that uh, we want to know before we start the stimulation. After we know your hormone, we do the ultrasound and or everything is fine, okay, we can start the stimulation. The firstly, we give you uh, the four days of the injection, and uh, after you finish the four day, you come to see me and we check the hormone again and do the ultrasound to make sure that your follicles are going well. Okay, and after that we adjust the doses again and then we give you more four or five of injection. Okay, and uh, later and after that you come to see me again and we check everything. After we have the follicle, uh, at least uh, allow 17 or 18, we have three or more, okay, we can harvesting, okay, uh, and then if, if we have uh, the egg, is, uh, the size is okay, okay, we give you the final medication for uh, make sure that all of your follicle are mature, all of your egg are mature, okay, and after we give this medication, 30, uh, eight, uh, 36 hours later, okay, we have harvesting the egg, okay. The second step is the harvesting the egg and culture the embryo, okay. Uh, on that day, you and your husband will be come together, okay, and you do the operation, ovum pick up, okay. And this procedure, I think, is, is uh, just a little bit hurt, but uh, we give you some anesthesia. You fall asleep, allow 30 minutes, and then you uh, wake up, okay, you stay in the hospital for two hours, and then you can go back to hotel, okay. And at the same time that we have wasting the egg, your husband have to uh, correct the sperm for us, okay. And at the same time, we prepare the sperm, okay, and select the best one, okay, inject into the egg, one by one, one sperm to one egg. This procedure we call the ICSI procedure, okay? And after that, we culture the embryo for five days outside your body, okay? And we check uh, your embryo every day, okay? To see it's going well, okay? So I think uh, we have the, 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 some technology to uh, test your embryo. We can know which one is normal and which one abnormal by we using some testing just like uh, uh, we call the P uh, implantation genetic screening PGS, okay. So in the PGS, we can do uh, just like uh, LA CGH or NTS as well. The NTS is a new technology as now that we can use, okay, to check the baby before you transfer the the, uh, the embryo back to the womb, okay. After we have the normal embryo. On day five of the embryo, okay, we can transfer that embryo back to the womb. Okay, uh, this is the third step: is the embryo transfer. This step is really really easy because we just uh, use the small plastic cannula, okay, and we aspirate the embryo in the that plastic cannula, and we insert the plastic cannula into the womb by using the ultrasound guide, okay, and we put the embryo uh, at the best pace that it can implant to the womb, okay. This procedure is really easy and it takes a time around uh, 15 to 20 minutes. And then you uh, wait, wait 
in the hospital for two hours and then you can go back home. Ten days later, you come back to see me again and check the pregnancy testing.